okay today we going to talk about three phase compound excitation circuit right uh, before before we study how this one work we will uh, identify what are these things this one is a stator of generator and this one is rotor uh, it is the rotating part of the generator and uh, this one is a bridge uh, rectifier bridge uh, this one connect to uh, the rotor by uh, slip rings and uh, this one is a excitation transformer primary one primary two and secondary and uh, this is a bus bar connection this one is a switch and uh, this line is going to connect to loads and uh, as well as uh, reactor coil and capacitors we will talk why these things use okay okay if we start the generator now start rotating the rotor but the pro problem is when we starting uh, generator uh, this uh, Stator not have any voltage, so then uh, it cannot supply voltage to generate uh, some voltage in a secondary winding for generate this uh, excitation current. Okay, so what what will happen now? There is a uh, there are there is a residual magnetism inside this rotor so when start the generator start rotate uh, this residual magnetism is uh, used to used to uh, make the rotating magnetic field of uh, rotor right. so then now uh, now there is a ro rotating magnetic field of the rotor and that one uh, that flux is cut this state winding so then create a small small voltage right small voltage uh, of this uh, this line and then that voltage come into down by these lines and come to primary one coil winding so then that voltage is used to secondary winding to generate AC voltage inside this uh, coil winding so then that AC current transfer to the DC uh, from this bridge rectifier and that DC current transfer to the rotor by this slip rings and brushes so then now that one is okay now uh, excitation current is okay now uh, okay the other thing now we need to know the primary one coil winding has a uh, that one that one is a okay the primary one coil winding has a higher number of coils comparatively this primary two coil winding so so then this coil winding ending response more response for the voltage as well as this coil winding is response more response for the current so when we start this uh, at the generator and start the system uh, the current flowing is less 
right because this uh, switch is open so then only have small voltage of this of this uh, winding uh, this uh, this lines so then before before connect uh, before close this switch this secondary wind uh, secondary coil winding uh, generate the ac power from using this primary one coil winding so then we consider what will happen after close this switch okay now we close this switch and then is uh, then connect to the load connect to a load uh, on this line and then uh, generate generator generator uh, try to give current so now flow big current through this uh, coil winding so then uh, then uh, this secondary winding secondary winding is as secondary uh, now this secondary winding response more response to this primary two coil winding okay so then uh, secondary winding winding use this one to generate this excitation current and uh, okay now we now we uh, discuss why this reactor coil and capacitor use Okay, now we consider why we use this reactor coil and capacitors. You know, this primary one and primary two is both uh, uh, give some signals to this secondary coil line. So it's a it's not good thing. No? So we if we remove one part. From this, uh, from this two, uh, it's better for the secondary coil winding to generate it AC current. So that is why we use this reactor coil. Okay. So we know uh, when we close this uh, switch, it flows big current. Through this uh, primary two coil winding, so then uh, that one is better to use uh, to gen to generate secondary uh, coil winding current. So we need to remove this. Uh, coil winding uh, primary one coil winding from this circuit so that is why we use this reactor coil but the problem is uh, you remember when we start this system before close this excitation generate from this primary one so that time when starting we should have to keep this one so when we start in time we need to take out this reactor coil and coil right so that is why we use this capacitors capacitor bank when we starting this capacitor uh, capacitor bank and reactor coil is act as a resonance so then when is starting there is, uh, this one is not li not like located here after start after after starting uh, we now need this primary one coil winding that is why we use 
react accordingly. So that is the thing of this three phase compound uh, compound excitation circuit. So this is the basic thing you can refer more. Thank you.